Okay, so let me just quickly close in on the 3D AutoCAD, you know, polemic. <laughs> Look, it's all great stuff. You know, I'm not anti-technology. I think it's great. But let's remember one thing. The SR-71 was built with calipers and rulers and pencils and paper. And it was designed to leak fuel because they knew when it heated up, it would swell and seal. You know, th this, oh, that was one per No, it was society. It's the way people were. You know, they were true engineers, man. They knew how to solve problems. You know, oh, like AutoCAD's more accurate. Really? AutoCAD is only as accurate as the person that inputs the information. So if the person that's using AutoCAD is a dummy, you know, the drawing's going to be a dummy, right? So, you know, let's not deify AutoCAD over the traditional drawing and, and uh, you know, classical photograph interpretation and just hands-on practical. All this theory, man. Like, I think it's great. YouTube, you know, technology, video, how-tos. You know, but we compile it all in our head and act like we know it all. When we don't know anything, really. You only know what you know is when you actually start doing the practical. It's the same as school, right? You go to school, you 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 go through, you you pan pick your curriculum, you you know you listen to lectures if you're not surfing on the net like a lot of kids do, and then you write your papers from your notes. You read your books, most don't, and profs know, and then you uh, do all that theory, right? And then you go out into the world and you think you're an expert. That's like the YouTube culture too. Like uh, people watch a thousand YouTubes on how to build and it's all in their head and they think that they did it when they don't know nothing. Because they won't do what we all have to do. They won't solve problems. They won't overcome fear like we all do. And they won't actually do the building, right? Okay? So AutoCAD is great, but it's only as good as the person that designs in it. And then when you input it to like a 3D printer, it better be right. Otherwise, you got to go back, right, and change the design, you know. So, you know, let's, you know, have a sobering look at all of it and understand that nothing from the past in the classical traditional sense is old and stuffy. It's relevant and it works. And some of the best models you'll ever see to date right now are, are, are built in the practical classical way, right. And that's why I'm a classical practical traditional modeler, you know. And I don't buy into the photographic, you know, wallpaper, Photoshop, glue on to the surface, baked in shadow, you know, all that stuff. I know people do it. Do it if you want to, right? But I'm not interested in looking at it live. It looks good on media, but yeah, right? Where's the model? All my models from Glover Road are all beautiful, preserved, you know, solid, painted sealed you know models now like on the bookshelf and wherever like they're not going to warp from humidity and 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 be worthless and useless so let's just going forward understand that many of you that uh do this kind of thing or are interested that's some of the values of the practical traditional old way it's still valuable and it's still a method that's not going away anytime soon because of AutoCAD or some 3D printer.